I think he finally picked it up. <laughs> Swarm. He's like the most polite predator. Look how ferocious he is. Ew, he farted. <laughs> yeah, they do that, Louie. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going today? We are doing an outdoor adventure again with my Tegu Frappuccino. He is in the box right now, or in the laundry bin, whatever you want to call it. But today, guys, we got some goodies for him. He was a little lazy the first adventure we did a couple weeks ago, but I know he loves whole prey. He went crazy for these when I got him out of his hide box, so he's definitely going to be motivated by this. And we also got a brand new harness that I'm going to put on him. So if you guys are looking to do this with your Tegus, definitely check this out. I'll put it in the description, and we'll start by putting this on him first. Okay, so how it goes is pretty easy. I mean, it's just a piece of string with beads, really, but you just put these two loops on over the head like that and hopefully your tegu is cool with this and then you just take one of the loops and put it behind the front legs so make sure it's the same loop and you're not uh, mixing them up so then it's like this and then all you do is tighten it and this really keeps them in because tegus can really bend their legs pretty much directly back so they could really slither out of a lot of things, but this one, they cannot. Okay, so let's get Frappuccino out, and then we will tease him with his first little mouse. I think these are baby mice, maybe small mice, I forget. But it's got three of them in here. It should add up to about one large mouse. So let's see how this goes. One tip I want to give you guys when taking your Tegu outdoors is bring a towel with you. They're much more controllable when you throw a towel over their head, over their body. They can get somewhat crazy out here with the natural lighting. So this is something good to maintain control if they get a little rowdy. So let's get this big fella motivated. I'm going to bring out my first little mouse here and try to get his eye on it. He should be a little crazy when he sees this. I don't know. Are you playing me right now, Frap? Here we go. We're getting a little motivated. Now be careful when doing this because they do have quite a leap. And when their food made it motivated, everything's out the window. Come on, Frap. Look. All right. Man, my knees are going to give out by the end of this, guys. Come on. I know you got more fight in you than this. Oh, Thrall's not liking this. Right? Right here. Missed it! Come on, guy! There we go, guys. Let's see if we could get him a little bit more rowdy than this. If you think this is the cutest face in the whole world, make sure you click that subscribe button and that click that bell notification. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the last time I ever let Olivia do the subscribe notification. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, also for the latest updates. So you guys might have just heard Thrall when I was giving the first mouse to frap over there. Very jealous over there. He's actually not supposed to be in the reptile room. And, uh, you know, he's sticking his head in. You see him sticking his head in the corner, trying to push it open. Oh, you're funny. You're a jealous one. Okay, so I dropped the leash. I'm pretty confident in frap not going anywhere taking off out here. He's usually pretty slow. I've had him out various times. I feel like I really understand his attitude out here. So I'm not too worried. I have a good read on Frappuccino. Let's see if I can get him into another one of these. Maybe get him a little bit more motivated. He smells a lot of scents out here, guys. So he's probably a little distracted and not too focused on this little meal right here. Because if this was in his enclosure, he'd be going a lot more crazy. It's funny, guys. He, uh, he, he's, he's within his limits right now doing this. He wants it, but only so much. Of course, I'm waiting for that signature Frappuccino poop out here. He always does one outside. Come on, buddy. What's this? What's this? Huh? Huh? Here. What's this? Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. getting a little feisty here. Man, guys, 
I thought he was gonna get a lot more crazy than this. Cause he sees Thrall and he's just like, that's the biggest mouse I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it moving a little bit, guy. Come on, come on. <laughs> You're funny. I thought you would be a little bit more ferocious. I mean, I can't complain really, guys. Like his bite or his attempt to eat is very gentle, you know? It almost looks like he just grab it out of my hand. Maybe that will get him moving. Are you really photoing him going poopy? Am I not supposed to? Ew, he farted. <laughs> yeah, they do that, Olivia. I didn't know they farted. <laughs> oh, Olivia, focusing on all the wrong things. Seems like almost lazy, like. He is a little lazy, like. Maybe I need to do this a little bit more, guys. Maybe this will turn into a way to get him a little bit more motivated if I continue to do some things like this outdoors. Maybe I'll use reptilinks instead sometimes since I've been feeding a lot of those. But very complacent, so I kind of want to get that attitude out of him. He almost seems disinterested even right in front of him like he worked too hard for it, he's not falling for it anymore. The downside of having a smart reptile. Okay, so I threw the mouse in the grass. Olivia, you wanna show that real quick. And I'm gonna see if he'll go pick it out. Maybe this is a different approach I can take, having him smell it out instead of directly kind of chasing it because maybe it'll be feeling less teased if that makes sense. So he's moving this way. Let's see if uh, he picks it up though. Let's see if that's what he's looking for. Again, I feel like there's a lot of smells out here, so he might be a little bit distracted. I do think he's trying to hone in on it. Oh, now we make a completely different turn. I just want to block him. He could also be smelling the other one I have in here. I have a third one in the Ziploc. To be honest, I am just a little happy that he's moving about on his own. Like some of you guys have seen, I did a live stream with him out here. And I also did one previous video a couple weeks ago, like I said, with him out here. And he was kind of just lying about. So at least this point, you know, having him out here as much as I have the last couple weeks, he's going and doing his own thing instead of just laying there. So that's an improvement. I felt like uh, I was going to get a little bit more of a reaction out of this mouse or these mice. Guess not. Okay, so I quickly just want to illustrate how Frap is a lot more food responsive in his enclosure. Because he can be quite, quite a crazy man. So let's see if I can get his attention. I hear tongue flicks. All right, here he comes. Watch, a lot more food responsive. You see him going for this? You guys see him? Look how much, how, look how ferocious he is. There you go. <laughs> a lot more ferocious in his enclosure, like I said. Uh, it's probably just a new territory. I, I, that's why I said earlier, I should probably keep at it because once he gets used to doing this and eating outside his enclosure, he doesn't eat outside his enclosure, he might get a little bit more enthusiastic like he is in here. Let's see, you want another one? Ready? Watch your head, buddy. A lot more ferocious, right? I'm oh, snagged that one out of my hand, did you? Okay guys, so we got some momentum today. He did move around and do some exploring and attempted to eat the mouse. We'll make more progress, I bet, and we'll do another one of these videos eventually. Before wrapping up though, stay tuned for a couple announcements. John, did you just fart? <laughs> Shout out to the patrons, Smooth Cat, Herb M, David T, and Angela L. Thanks so much for being patrons. You too can be a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Check the top right for more information. Want to support the channel in a different way? We have four different designs for merch. That will be to the left of my head, right of your screen. I'm wearing my tongue out Tuesday today. It's not Tuesday though, so I don't know why I'm wearing it. So it's a, it's a Frappuccino video, Tegu video. Anyway guys, excuse my rambling. If you want to check that out, look in the description. There will be a Teespring link. Olivia asked if I was going to address holding my son. This is really just some little boy I took off the street. He was just <laughs> sitting there playing in the gutter. So anyway guys, I'll see you next time in the next video coming out Wednesday next week. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Where's this baby's parents? Oh, you can't say that.